Hello everyone, my name is Jose Simonelli and welcome to the Red Hat Consulting Whiteboard Sessions. I have Ian here and we're going to talk about the importance of Cloud Forms tagging. Yeah, so the scenario here is that you're the operations team and you've just spun up Cloud Forms. You've hooked it into all of your providers, whether that's AWS, Azure, your internal cloud, so VMware, OpenStack, OpenShift, all of that. So now you're, you've got all this data coming in and you're the operations team and now you want to start sharing that data with other teams, and the question is, how do you do that? How do you start granting access to, to people? So the first thing I wanted to point out is that Cloud Forms already comes with a, uh, out of the box, a, a set of categories and tags themselves within there. Now, based on that, you want to build off of that and really, at the very least, get 80 or 90% of the way. You're always going to be creating new tags and, and categories throughout the life cycle of, of your deployment. But the important part here is that when you're thinking about categories and tags, you're thinking about what you're trying to limit as based on access, where you want to place things, where things are going to be reporting, or how you're going to report, and then any type of logic within Automate and within Cloud Forms. So one of the first things is, obviously, you want to limit that restriction uh, of what VMs or providers they, uh, the, your users can see. That can be based on department. It could be by group. It could be even by role. Maybe they're database uh, admins. Maybe they're um, you know, web server admins, whatever it may be, right? So that's one thing that you want to look at. Reporting is actually really important because it isn't just to report for the CIO or for the security team. It's also to, to really give you the intelligence that you need to make the right decisions. It could be capacity uh, or maybe it's... Um, you have virtual machines that are living on a, sp a specific storage, or maybe it's something that um, you want to determine all the virtual machines that are uh, in a specific you know, location or network location, and that way you can create that report and give it to somebody who can actually execute or, or act upon that. So it, it isn't just about being used, it's also how you're deploying or provisioning to the, the environment. So that's why I have pl placement here. So within Cloud Forms, you can actually have some logic in there that, that will um, allow the end user to provide minimal uh, information. And once they hit the submit button, you allow Cloud Forms to make the decisions of where they're going to put that virtual machine. It could be a specific cluster. It could be a specific storage array that they're uh, allowed to see based on the department or, or group or organization that they're coming out of. So there's a lot of different reasons to do that, but really it comes down to for you to be able to leverage uh, Cloud Forms Automate to make those decisions for you and where to place those. And, and it could be the department is only allowed to see AWS and not the internal. Uh, or it could be a whole different set of reasons. If I've just spun up my Cloud Forms instances, is it important that the next step I do is start planning for how I'm going to do my tagging, or is that something I should actually do before I start spinning up my Cloud Forms infrastructure? What order should those two things come you in? You actually should do that before you even deploy anything. Uh, of course, sometimes you have admins who have already been playing with Cloud Forms, so you just have to kind of uh, adjust to what the situation that you walk into. But the first thing you want to do is really do a discovery of, of how it's going to be utilized and how uh, or what or who is going to be able to utilize the, the system. So when you're doing the discovery, you have to ask yourself uh, not just access, but also user roles within there, right? Uh, and then you can tag groups based on uh, whatever access they're able to see, you know, whether it's a provider or maybe a catalog item. Maybe they can see certain catalog items and not the others that some other department has access to. So, so as long as you do the planning up front, then you'll have a much smoother deployment in yep. the long run. Yeah, and not just deployment, but also capacity planning because the reporting really plays into that, right? So uh, maybe, you know, you're the CTO or CIO and, and want to see how you have to grow. You can create a report and to see how it's being utilized, maybe how it's over allocated or under allocated so that you can actually uh, acquire the right uh, you know, hardware to be able to go to the next level. Thank you, Jose. The importance of planning your Cloud Forms tagging makes a lot more sense to me now. Absolutely. And if you have additional questions, please reach out to Red Hat Consulting or go to our website for more information.